So you have no sympathy for those fees that accrue if you break your, your debt covenants? I think there were two very good mining companies that got together and became Oz Minerals and they created themselves a massive debt problem. Now that wasn't forced on them by the banks. But Tony, do you remember all those big ads in the Financial Review that ANZ used to run? How we backed Owen Hegarty, how we helped Oxiana get going, we support our clients, all that sort of stuff. All of a sudden, they've got $1 billion of debt, a mining company that was capitalised at $12 billion a while ago, and the banks won't even roll over a relatively modest $1.1 billion of debt, forces them to sell all of their assets and leave themselves with $600 million of cash and a billion dollar mine. That is crazy banking and ANZ's promises, their advertising about how they supported Owen Hegarty and that he was their pin-up client and then when it came down to it, they walked away and All I right, thought that was you, just outrageous. I mean, I think the community wants the banks to be safe anyway, so are we going to let them uh, not go back and recoup this money? Well, they're going to get all their money and we're going to be left with a company with 600 million of cash. My point is that there was never any danger of the $1 billion not being okay. paid. This was a AAA company which just should have been rolled. It had fantastic assets. Instead, the banks have forced them to sell to the Chinese government all these wonderful uh, mining assets. And I just think this is just a travesty for the nation and completely unnecessary because the debt was modest right, and it was a right. completely solvent company.